All right, time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss some mining engineering, actually. Um, well, uh, we'll discuss tailings, embankments, and uh, upstream, downstream, and center line construction uh, methods. Well, basically, tailings are just mine waste. Equals just uh, mine waste. And uh, this is from, uh, let's say, let's say, it's from the process of, um, process of extraction of, I don't know, let's, let's just precious metals, whatever, let's say gold, oil, et cetera. And, and this process actually involves a lot of uh, waste being produced, which is a combination of, of water and other stuff. Uh, so basically, well, what what mining uh, uh, companies do and operators they would they would have like some sort of long pipe that would actually discharge all this waste so uh, and then they would have to impound it inside an embankment and there's three uh, me popular methods that they that are used let's uh, look at upstream upstream uh, method is basically you start off with let's say you build a starter dike we'll call this a starter dike Yeah, with starter dike, and then you'll have, let's say, a pipe or a a spigot or spigot or pipe discharge. And uh, here's just a picture of what I mean by, um, let's say, spigot or pipe discharge. If I expand this, so that's basically you have just a pipe, uh, and that's it's actually just discharging waste or whatever. whatever. So that's an uh, example of some uh, some waste. I'm not sure what kind of uh, mine waste that is, but uh, anyway. So then, so what happens is uh, this spigot or this pipe actually you'll have uh, yeah it will drain out here. So it will spill a bunch of your stuff, and then it be it'll have some some beaching or uh, as as it's as the uh, the flow of the waste spreads, you'll have some some wa water uh, that would rise from there. So this is this should be water there. And then this this the whole thing is uh, tailings. Uh, and then uh, yeah, as you yeah, there's a spig draw better. As yeah, as you add, then it, you obviously need to increase this. So then the upstream method is just basically you'll you'll have to continue this this method. You'll you'll add on top of the starter like so it would actually go. It would, so this is your first. That was your first one. Then you actually build upon it. And then you would do the same thing. You would have another. You would move the the pipe here and the sp spray there. Then you're gonna do it as well as, as it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So you're gonna keep doing that. And this, so this is the first the first layer. Then there's a second, and, and and so on. So you're gonna have it keeps building. So that's that's upstream, and it's what the, this upstream downstream is referenced actually from. This would be the center line. And then this is actually, um, so when it's going to here, this is actually upstream. Then this, so this way is upstream. That's an easy way to remember it. And then you'll see downstream, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what there. So you can see this one is, it uses, doesn't use too much material. And this is basically, let's say this, this material and whatnot, this is either, this is either borrowed material or like uh, soil, whatever. Soil, it could even be uh, tailings uh, or combination of combination of of uh, rocks and and even um, yeah, and even uh, filters, uh, geo uh, filters, uh, geo or synthetic, whatever. Uh, these ones I'll explain in another video if I have time. Uh, yeah, so you'll have it. So that's basically uh, upstream, and then uh, if you look at, say, downstream. Let's go look at downstream. Actually, yeah, downstream is um, it's a more extensive way of doing it. So you would have, uh, let's say, your starter dike again. This one would actually have an uh, internal drain here. This would usually have a. Uh, this is let's say, this is an uh, internal drain now it's basically whatever comes out of it will, will go down here 
that's uh, for uh, other engineering purposes. So um, yeah, basically, again, you'll have a spigot or a pipe, and then this will again discharge, and then so basically you have beaching. So we'll go all the way here, and then what now? Then you'll have water. You have water that rises to the top of the water, and then with downstream, you actually build it going this way. It's, it's in reference to the center line. It's the center, center line again. So then this way is downstream. That's just uh, the term. And then, so basically, the, again, you would build on top of this. So you would, this time you would build down like this. So as you can see, it uses much more material. This is actually more stable, especially in seismic areas, like, uh, like Chile and whatnot. And so then this one is actually goes this way. And your drain actually goes here. You'll have a drain as well sometimes, and then this is this is as the progress goes. So as you keep, then you would move the pipe here and whatnot, here and here, and, and then this basically you increase it as the life of the mine, mine. And so that's basically uh, downstream. And then if you look at uh, let's say center line, center line is actually um, it's actually a combination of that. So the, the, as you can see, the um, upstream it uses. It, it doesn't use that much material as uh, and compared to this one uses a lot of material and center line is actually uh, it's actually a combination of both so yeah center line you would actually start off let's say again you would start off a starter dike so there's your starter dike and then you would have uh, also a, a drain in here so let's go drain and then so I have a spigot here, so then again you're discharging, say this is tailings. And then you'll have, uh, again, you'll have water here or whatnot. Yeah, so this is water. And this is tailings. Yeah, and then uh, as your, your second lift would actually be a combination, like it, you would actually go up like this. So it would go like this. And then go down. So you're actually building from the center. And your drains down there. So again, you would do this. No. Yeah, um, you would. Yeah, so again, you would do another lift like this. So it's a, it looks like it's a combination of both. So you would go. Um, yeah, just just up this center line. So you're actually yeah, building on top of it. And then again, whenever you need to increase. So th this is in, in years, uh, depending on how much waste is being produced. And then the, again, you'll have beaching and whatnot. So the, yeah, this is basically center line. And then if you compare compare them, um, say uh, advantages and disadvantages of, of each. Well, let's say, um, yeah, let, let's uh, actually uh, write down a comparison. Yeah, a comparison between them, um, you'll have, let's say, um, Upstream, yeah, basically upstream is uh very like less material. Yeah, it less material, so then you you'll save money on material, but it's also uh, more sensitive sensitive to uh, let's say liquefaction. That's basically when the soil loses uh, loses strength due to either some sort of vibration or shaking or uh, I'll explain this another time, but uh, liquefaction or I don't know, seismic events, or earthquakes. Uh, this actually upstream is actually um, uh, not allowed in, in Chile. Uh, and if you go to Chile and if you were a mining engineer to propose upstream, they would just not allow it. So this one is less material and more sensitive to this, but uh, everything here is all site specific, so it depends on what mine you are and and what your goals are and, and if you can justify upstream it's cheaper too so less material cheaper and then uh, yeah downstream is basically it's uh, more stable it's it's more stable but then again it's much more material so you're gonna have to compare with cost it's gonna be more expensive and then center line is actually it's just like the name it's it's um it's in between in between or yeah, this is yeah, in between yeah downstream and upstream 
So, uh, so you use more material in upstream but less than downstream, and it's more stable than upstream but less than down downstream. So that's in between yeah, downstream and upstream. Well, that's basically a little intro to um, different mining construction methods for upstream, downstream, and and yeah, and uh, center line methods for embankments. Is basically yeah, holding this waste that is produced. And this is yeah, there's a lot of it, especially in the oil sand waste. Uh, was a huge problem, especially in Canada up here. But uh, yeah, well, hopefully you learned uh, a little bit about mining engineering. It's actually something I'm studying right now. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, tune in for another math easy solution.